everybody and welcome 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 into the girlfriend experience classroom this is our very first class together and i am doing this live okay first of all i want to thank everyone who is here in the room with me live this is an interactive class and I also want to give a huge thanks to the people that are watching the recording as well. You are just as important. I am giving this class for free. This is going to be a dynamic class. It's really going to change your life. So get ready. Okay. You have lucked up and embarked upon a free journey. Okay. So be happy that you are here and do me a huge favor and go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel and go ahead and give this video a thumb up to send it way out into the YouTube universe so that, you know, the algorithm can start showing people everything that we're doing here in the classroom and everything that we're learning and everything that the girlfriend experience has to offer. So if you are here right now, you are a person who is wanting something better in your life or you wouldn't be here, right? You are wanting a change. You are wanting to see an uptick. You are wanting to see a turnaround in things. And that's what I am here to give you today. OK, I'm here to give you I always say this. I'm here to give you the knowledge, uh, the advice and the support you need to live your best life. And that is exactly what I've been called to do, what I'm inspired to do and to get the lessons that I have learned through my experiences and the experiences of mentoring, coaching and counseling others. Give those experiences back to you so that you can live them within your life or pass them on to other people so that you can have the break the breakthroughs that you are looking to have. So right now for class, you are going to need a pen and a paper or the notes in your phone or your laptop nearby or wherever it is that you take notes. OK, and you're just going to need a positive attitude. Now, if you're one of those people who, you know, like the waitress who never has to write anything down, she can just remember everything, then okay. You don't have to get a pen and paper. You can always watch the replay if you forget because this will be posted back on all social media platforms when this is done. So be sure to just get in the vibe, get in the mood, get ready to learn, get ready to be, get ready to experience. So again, like I was saying, if you are here in this classroom right here, right now, you are ready to embark on a different journey. You are tired of the life that you've been leading and you are ready to move on. So I wrote down some words. I got my notes, okay? Teacher got to have the notes too. This is going to be a lecture style class. Um, and I will um, give you an opportunity for those of you you who are live to ask questions in the notes. I mean, in the chat section, I will be reading. Also, if you are watching this on the recorded version, then of course you can comment. Let me know your questions. Let me know what it is you were thinking and give me some encouragement as we go on. So I took down some notes. I was thinking about you, you know, preparing myself for this class. And I thought of some words that describe the new you. Optimistic, you are fiery, confident, courageous, focused, and powerful. Doesn't that feel good to be, you know, having those positive words said to you? Now let's get into the nitty gritty of the class. I took a few notes, like I was saying, and, um, I just wanted to communicate to you that if you are here, you are here for a reason. You are ready for a positive upturn in your life. You are ready to let those words describe you. And in this class, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Because if you're in this class right now, you're at a crossroads. Now, this is the most difficult part for a lot of people because the crossroads that they are at 
When they look behind them, they see pain. But when they look in front of them, they also may see pain. You also may see doubt. You also may see negativity. You may think, well, this journey is going to be difficult in front of me. But you need to take a look behind you for just a moment and think about those things that have happened to you in the past or that journey that you've been on and know that there is no looking back. Now is not the time to turn back. Now is the time to move forward. With everything that we have going on in our world, it is time to be a new you, to rediscover yourself, to find your purpose, and to move forward on the right path of that crossroads. Do not look behind. So that leads me to the next thing that I really wanted to talk to you about today. And this is really going to help you on your journey. One of the first things that you're going to have to do to claim what's rightfully yours is to release blame, okay? This is a time where you stop blaming other people or other events, external events for anything and everything that has happened to you, okay? This is how you level up in life. Okay, write this down, take a mental picture, listen to these words, let it reverberate in your mind. You have got to release blame for anything that anybody did or for anything that you did. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop blaming yourself. Stop feeling ashamed. Okay, it is time to release all of the negativity and don't look back. You already know what's behind you and you're here because you want something different. So in in order to to rightfully what is yours and to finally make it in life and to finally say that you have put the pieces of the puzzle of your life back together, you have to release blame. Okay, so this is not a moment where. You know, I'm not going to tell you to go back and make amends with different people and go and call so-and-so who did you wrong and say, hey, I forgive you or whatever it is. You have to do this for yourself mentally. This course is all about being selfish. You cannot do anything for anybody else. You cannot make any progress for the world until you first fix yourself. So that's a part of your homework already, okay, is to release blame from other people, okay? Now, I know we're having classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm not going to task you to, to, to have this all together by Thursday, but I'll give you a week to sort of mill over these things and think about these things. It may be a moment to bring something back up that's hurting you, bothering you, that's influenced in your life. I want you to really dig deep and think about who bothered you, who hurt you, who said something negative to you, who did you wrong, who embarrassed you. All those things have got to be let go in order for you to move on. They've got to be let go or you simply can't move on. You can't. It's impossible to move on holding to the pa- holding on to the past. When you're tethered to the past, locked into the past, it's it's holding on to you. It's weighing you down. Okay? Just like I just reminds me this song came to my head by Erica D- Badu, that one of my favorite artists of course. And uh, y'all know the song, Bag Lady, you going to miss your bus. You can't hurry up because you got all that stuff, okay? So the bus is a metaphor to where you want to be, to how you're going to get forward moving out of town or onward and upward or wherever it is that you're going in your mind or in your body physically, wherever it is that you're going in life. Well, honey, you can't hurry up when you got all that stuff. So you're going to have to drop a few things and release a few things and shed a few pounds so you can be light enough to get on that bus to make that journey to where exactly you need to be. So write that down. 
release that. Let go of anything that anybody has done to you from today and say, I am in charge of my life now. I am in charge of what happens to me. I am in charge of what is going down on my scene from here moving forward. I'm in charge of me. When you begin to take full responsibility of yourself, that's when you can claim the world. That's when you can come and claim and take what's rightfully yours. That's when you can sit back and relax and say, yeah, I did that. So this is a huge challenge for you to, you know, start to live a life by you have design and take ownership release it, but you have to find the silver lining. You have to find the rainbow that came out of that storm that you went through because I, you've been through a lot. Okay. You've been through a lot. I know you've been through a lot. You've struggled. You've been knocked down, but you're here. So that means you got up again. Never mind. Something else I wrote down. Find the lessons I was saying. Yes. I wrote down everything that happened so far was supposed to happen. Okay. Now I know that is a difficult concept to grasp, but let's just, just humor me. Who cares if, you know, if it's true. Okay. If you believe it or not, just believe it for the moment. Just humor me. And believe that everything that has happened so far has been on purpose, has been to guide you, has been to push you, has give you, has been to give you an experience, has been to teach you a lesson. Do you know that you cannot be great without pain? It's like a rite of passage. I talk about it all the time. You cannot be great without pain. You cannot. This if you are listening to this, you are ready to live your best life, okay? And if you're ready to live your best life, that means you're ready to be your best self, okay? And so if you want to be the best, you got to jump over those hurdles. You got to fall down. You got to skin your knees up. You got to come in last place. You got to watch while other people get cheered on because they were in first place. But what did you learn? What did you learn? Did you get up and do it again? Did you learn something different for the, for the next time? This is that challenge to you right now to think about how you have survived, how you've been resilient, how you've gotten up off the ground and found your way out of situations and be able to recall that strength and to recall that knowledge and that vigor to be able to stand up and do it again. And if you weren't able to stand up and do it again, you wouldn't be here today. So when you face a difficult situation and you will face them, OK, because we've got to have in order to appreciate the positive, you got to go through the negative or else you will not even know how awesome the positive is. Okay. Are you listening? It's a rite of passage. You have to go through the pain. You have to walk over the hot coals to get to the great thing. Okay. So think about that as you embark on your journey, that everything is meant to be, that everything has been a calling for you. Some of you been in some terrible relationships. Some of y'all been in terrible relationships at work, terrible relationship with your finances, terrible relationship with your man, terrible relationship with your woman. Some of you going through it currently or some of you have been through it. Some of you have been kissing a whole lot of frogs. Things just haven't been working out for you. But have you once considered, now this is going back to Taking blame off of other people, have you ever considered that something that you did may have been the cause of what happened to you in those relationships? Can you conceive that it could have been the energy you were putting out? Can you conceive that it would have been the effort that you put out? Can you conceive that 
you could have been the culprit. Can you con conceive that you could have been the one? Or can you conceive that it was a lesson for you to learn? OK, some experience for you to gain so that you know what to do the next time. OK, it is time for you to change your thought position. Do you know what a thought position is? Well, you shouldn't, because I, I think I just made that up. <laughs> this is what I mean by thought position. What lens are you looking at the world through? That's what I mean by thought position. What clique, what crew, what group of people, what religion, what race, what, you know, what group, what clan of thought do you subscribe to? Who do you consider yourself the thought, your thought equal? Who do you think like? Who do you surround yourself with? It may be time to start reconsidering that thought process, that thought group that thought position that you have taken. Because if you want to level up in life, which is time for you to do, you may need to change course a little bit. Now think about this. When I talk about what have you been giving your energy to, let's, let's say that, let's turn energy into water. OK, so when I say what are you giving your energy to, let's think of it as a plant that you are watering. What are you giving your energy to? Now, let's consider two different plants. Let's consider poison ivy. This represents the negative thoughts, the negative thinking, the negative things in your life. OK, and let's plant. I don't know something good that you like roses okay mint leaves okay whatever just something beautiful and wonderful lavender flowers okay so we got one seed that is poison ivy and one seed that is beautiful flowers okay now our energy is water we've planted the seed in the ground now we begin to water both plants and guess what happened both plants are going to grow. It doesn't matter whether it's the negative or the positive that you're putting your energy to. Whatever you put your energy, your water into is going to grow and get bigger and bigger exponentially. As much as you feed it, water and sunlight vitamins or whatever it is that you're feeding it, it's going to grow whether it's negative or positive. So stop giving energy, your water to those negative things. You see, because a lot of you have been thinking that God, the creator, Allah, Buddha, the universe, your divine higher power, a lot of you have been thinking that it's a little person sitting up on a throne. It's saying, oh, what are you doing today? Let me move you around. No, I want, it, I want this to happen. No, I want that to happen. No. No, the divine is way too smart for that. Everything is already set up on autopilot. There are laws and there are rules, okay? At least within this world that we're living in now. I don't know what's going on on Mars and Saturn and the other planets and what their rules are, but what goes up? comes down. Why? Because we have gravity here. So I say that to say that all these things are set in place. Okay. And so if it's set in place that whatever you've given your energy to is going to grow, don't you think it's time to reconsider what you've been giving your energy to, what you've been watering? If you want to level up in life, if you want your dreams fulfilled, if you want your wishes to come true, if you want to have money, if you want to, your skin to flourish and your hair to flourish the way you want it, the way, you know, your body to look right. If you want all of those things, it is time to reconsider what you've been putting your energy into, your water into, because guess what? It's both going to grow. Okay. So think about, well, what have I been thinking? What are my thoughts? What have I been saying? Letting the powerful vibrations and reverberations out into the world with my voice just to 
boom, boomerang back to me. Think about that and change that. So this goes right back to what I was saying before, learning how to take responsibility for self will get you far. Okay, because nobody but you controls your words. Nobody but you controls your thoughts and actions. Okay, so let's say that, um, you know, when watering a plant, your words are the sunlight, your actions are the water, and your thoughts are the seed. Put your actions, words, and thoughts into the right plant. And watch what happens for you. I want to read you a little something. This is about a character. I'm guessing that it's. Um, well, it's a person that Zora Neale Hurston interviewed. OK, and I'm getting this information out of the Hoodoo Tarot book. I'm sorry if this is backwards, but um, this is a really, really interesting read. It comes with tarot cards. But beyond that, it is a very, very interesting read when it comes to the history of African and indigenous people in this country. And so it, it gives you a lot of history. But I found something in here that that kind of spoke to me that I wanted to read to you. It's about a gentleman named Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant was a Protestant conjure doctor from New Orleans, okay? Unfortunately, unfortunately, the details of his life are unknown. By the time Zora Neale Hurston interviewed Dr. Grant and others in the 30s, the 1930s, Many conjure doctors were using herbs and other supplies from catalogs, okay? So meaning they were buying their things, the things, you know, the medicine and everything that he was, that they were using, they were getting from catalogs. Dr. Grant, however, was a proud swamper who preferred to do things the old fashioned way by gathering what he needed in the wild, Dr. Grant reminded Hurston of a few critical but often forgotten lessons. Let me just skip what those lessons are because I want to run back to those lessons because I want to I want you to write those down. He reminded her of some often forgotten lessons. Dr. Grant was highly sought out for his abilities and in some cases was paid more than $100, which, of course, is an exorbitant amount of money for that time period, the, the 30s, the 1930s. But here are the critical but often forgotten lessons that Dr. Grant reminded her of, Zora Neale Hurston. Number one, believe in one's limitless power. You have, in order to make this happen, you want to get somewhere in life, you want to level up, you got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe it can happen, sweetheart, you might as well turn this video off right now because if you don't believe in you, <laughs> come on, why should I? Okay? Why should I believe in you if you don't believe in you? You're not going to be able to sell it. Okay? And that's what, you know, that's what a lot of life is all about anyway, is sales. But that's another lesson for another day, okay? If you don't believe in yourself, you won't be able to make the things happen that you wouldn't believe. Don't you want a life that you didn't even believe it was beyond your wildest dreams? You didn't even believe could possibly exist, but now it does? Well, you've got to start believing in yourself. You have to start believing in yourself because you are the first one to persuade others to believe in you. So consider the power of a mighty ocean, a huge body of water. OK, consider how much power that has. Now, consider the characteristics of that ocean. Take a minute to consider the characteristics of the ocean. Now, consider the characteristics 
of a droplet of that ocean, okay? Same qualities, same characteristics, okay? So your creator, the creator, the divine made you in a like image. You are a droplet of a large ocean. Claim your power. Believe in yourself. Believe in your limitless power. Number two, critical but often forgotten lesson. Petition spirits unequal to man. Let me say that again. Petition spirits unequal to man. Do you know what a petition is? It's a formal request to spirits unequal to man. Summon the power of your higher power. Some are the power, some in the power of your creator. Put in a formal request with God. Say a prayer. Let God know, let your creator know what you want. Let your creator know what you need. Let your creator know what you're struggling with and what you need to get through to get there. Put in your formal request. You can't get anything you don't ask for. Put in your formal request with your higher power, or in other words, petition for, and I hope you're writing these. No more than one way to get a job done. There's so many ways to get a job done. There's so many ways to get to the, the same thing. There's so many ways that you can be creative and you can be unique and you can think outside of the box, okay? There are more than one way to get a job done. Now, that's especially important to remember in 2020 because our world is quickly changing before our eyes and you need to begin to think, well, I may need some other streams of income. I need to get in hustle mode. It's my notes, y'all. <laughs> I need to get in hustle mode. I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. I need to get the maximum coin from every different place I can because I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. It's called a security blanket. Be your own security blanket. Touch many things. Touch many people. There's so many more ways to do one thing and one way doesn't work for everybody. Life is not cookie cutter. Let me check these off as I say these things. I want to remember everything important that I wanted to, to tell you today. Life is not cookie cutter. You can, you are capable, you can live a life by your own specific design and you can find your own ways to create something unique. Number four, critical but often forgotten lesson. Acknowledge that no two people our job or, excuse me, acknowledge that no two people or jobs are alike because a remedy that works for one person may not work for another. These are important things for you to remember. So let's go over that again. I don't want to let that go because I told you to write it down. I asked you to write it down. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. Believe in one's limitless power. Petition spirits unequal to man. No more than one way to get a job done. And acknowledge that no two people or jobs are alike because a remedy that works for one person may not work for another. Those are definitely words to live by. So it's time. It is time for you to level up, to get where you want to be in life. OK, it is time for you to do the things that you've been putting off that, you know, you need to do to get your life 
together, to get your life right, to be where you want to be, to be where you see yourself, to be your best self. If you want regular, then click off right now because we're not doing regular over here. Regular and best don't go together. You're trying to be the best version of yourself. You're trying to live your best life. Regular and best do not go together. They don't. I'm sorry if I stepped on your toes, but they don't. It's time for you to start using your words wisely, for you to start talking about the things that you don't want. I'm sorry. Woo! It's time for you to start talking about the things that you do want instead of talking about the things that you don't want. Because just like I gave you the example earlier about the water, hoping that something doesn't happen is the same as hoping that it does. Why? Because you are giving your energy to the thought. You are talking to somebody. You are telling to somebody about it. Girl, I hope this don't. Girl, I hope you don't shoot. I hope they don't. Mm. You're giving it energy. Why? You're messing up. Why? You have been juggling and struggling <laughs> for way too long. I'm sorry, but that was rhyming. You have been juggling and struggling, carrying too much weight, living paycheck to paycheck for far too long. And it's time for you to level up. It's time for you to change that. It's time for you to listen to what I have to say. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Come on, listen to me. Listen to what I have to say to see a big change in your life. And if you don't see the big change, you can get your money back. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you level up like this, if you do what I'm telling you to do, if you follow this advice, you will see a huge change in your life. You will become unrecognizable to yourself and to your peers. You will have renewed relationships. You will have a surplus of income. You will walk away from the things that don't serve you. Your ear will be tuned to a different vibration. You ever been talking to somebody and everything they say just irritates you? They're talking about somebody and you just don't want to hear it. And you're like, yeah, okay. Or they talking about some negativity that you don't want to hear or some news story that they heard that you don't want to hear. It's because you're elevating. You're getting out of that mode where bad things are good for you to hear. It's time for you to level up. You are here for a reason. You are here to listen to the messages that have been given to you because some of you, some of you know already. Some of you have received the word, the wisdom, the feeling. Some of you have had a gut feeling. Some of you have had dreams. And you know what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You know why you're watching this. You know what it is that you need to do. You know it's time you level up. You know it's time to play a new game because that game you've been playing is old and tired. But if you continue on this course, you will have positive results. Your life will change exponentially. You will level up it's going to be so much good and so much joy that you may be overwhelmed by all the goodness that is happening to you. I have decided to label this particular course of the Girlfriend Experience the Phoenix Course. If you don't know the story of the Phoenix, just look it up. It is a majestic bird that burns in flames and is reborn through its very own ashes. That is you. You may have been through a lot, but it's not over. 
It's just beginning, as a matter of fact. And it's time for you to soar like the bird that you have meant to be after you are reborn from your own ashes. So what do I want you to do? I got some homework assignments for you. We already talked about one of them, but let's go through them. You got three homework assignments, boo. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Let's go. First homework assignment is to spend some time alone to recharge purposefully, okay? A lot of you are home anyway because you're on quarantine. I don't mean that. I mean to spend some real quality time with you. So if you've got other people in your household, carve out some time for yourself. If the only time is that it's quiet is six o'clock in the morning, well, I guess you're going to have to get up earlier or I guess you're going to have to go to bed later. Whatever it is that you need to do to switch your schedule to give yourself some you time, some alone time, that's what you need to do. And if you're in the house alone, then you have no excuse. Let's go. Let's do this. It's time for you to recharge purposefully, which means spend some time alone. Spend some time having a gap in that relationship and not trying to find another replacement so soon. It's time to recharge. It's time to do you. Take a soothing bath. Whatever it is that you need to do to recharge, get your nails done, get your hair done, get your toes done, take a bath, groom yourself, um, take a jog, you know, go, go to the gym. What, I, don't, I don't know because I don't know what relaxes you. I know what relaxes me. I know what recharges me. Drink your water. But that's assignment number one, and that's due next Tuesday. <laughs> Spend time alone to recharge purposefully. Now, the reason that I gave you that assignment is that is going to help to lead you to fulfillment. OK, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Assignment number two we already talked about was to release blame. From this moment forward, you are the director. And you are to blame for everything that goes on. So if something that you consider bad happens to you. Take a step back. How did I contribute? Or how did I react that I could have reacted differently? How can I overcome this? Can I walk away? Where do I find the lesson in this? What, what was the message that I needed to know from this experience? Okay. Find the silver lining and everything. That's assignment number two. Release blame from other people and take account accountability and ownership. Change your language. Change the way you see things, okay? Stop giving excuses. That just came to me too. Stop giving excuses. Oh, this happened, that happened. Well, so-and-so, well, she did. Take ownership. Take, I don't want to say take the blame, but. Take responsibility, take personal responsibility, and then change course or take action or whatever it is that you need to do to be able to say, okay, I've learned from that lesson or I've gained from that experience. Homework uh, assignment number three. Now, this is where the recharge comes in that I was talking about, that I was saying is going to help you get to the next level. After you recharge purposely, uh, assignment number three is to decide what it is that you want. Don't worry about the how right now. Don't worry about how you're going to get there, how you're going to do it. Just decide what you want. And I don't I don't mean write down any silly stuff like, oh, I want to be a millionaire. Oh, I, I want to be, you know, no, 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 no. I'm talking about specific things, specific ways that you want to live your life. And I also wrote down the dig deep. So this is your most important homework assignment from here, okay? I wrote, if you have decided, ooh, yes, okay. I knew I wanted to say this. If you have decided that you want a thing 
then you also have decided that you want everything that comes along with that thing. Don't tell me you want to be an actress, but you don't want to be famous. You get what I'm saying? Think about all the things that come along with the things that you want and decide. Am I ballsy enough to take this on? Or is this not really what I want? Because if you're not going to take on what comes along with it, then you're not going to get it. and You don't deserve it. Like I said, you got to go through the rites of passage. You got to get there. And you may have already been experiencing some of those things and you're like, okay, when is that over? It's over. It's over now with this class, with this course, with you leveling, leveling up, with you doing the things that you need to do to take it to the next level. So let's go over the homework assignments again. Number one, spend time alone to recharge purposefully. Number two is to release blame of all situations, of all people. Do it in your mind, okay? Write a letter and, 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 and ball it up and burn it. But you got to let all that go. Everything that happened in the past is exactly that. It's the past. It's over. It cannot be changed. It cannot be undone. But by your life, your current life, that's the only way to mentally let go in the past because that's where the past lives. Did you know the past lives in your mind? And finally, decide what you want. Do not worry about the how, but also when you decide what you want, decide that you want all the things that come along with that thing as well. I want to thank you all sincerely for being here, for being a part of this class, for tuning in with me, for giving me your time and energy. I hope that I was able to reach you today, to speak to you, to strike a chord, to strike a nerve, to send a message. I hope that I was able to give you some valuable knowledge today. I hope that you take this knowledge and I hope that you do your homework assignment and I hope that you come in and see me on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next class of the Girlfriend Experience Classroom, the Phoenix course, okay? So make sure you subscribe to this channel because if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed to this channel, then you know you're wrong, okay? Go ahead and hit that like button and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every single time. I post something new, okay? Also, I have this painting behind me. I will be selling my lovely, lovely paintings on my website, thegirlfriendexperience.org. We'll be also having opportunities for you to book private coaching sessions, personal coaching sessions with me on my website. Look out for that and more information about classes and anything else The Girlfriend Experience you can find on thegirlfriendexperience.org. If you do not see that information when you go today, then stick around because it is being updated very soon. So until next time, people, peace and things. Bye. <laughs>